Isaiah, where are you going? That does not make any sense. What is wrong with the pathing? Don't tell me you're going to use the other side of the bathtub through the fence. Yeah, that's exactly what he's going to try and do. Okay, note to self. Move the bathtub away from the fence. <laughs> that is so funny. Why are you doing it that way? If you can't get through the fence, why can you use the bathtub on the other side of the fence? This is Charity, and welcome back to the Lucy's Legacy Challenge. A link to the rules for this challenge will be in the description below, as well as a link to the channel for the rules creator, the Lucid Simmer. Now, Latasha and Isaiah have finally had children. Latasha is going to take care of the babies, and Isaiah is going to give Pudley a bath. I've also expanded the farm. It's really hard to see right now because it's the early morning and none of my lights are on, which is very annoying in The Sims because it lights up just fine overnight. However, during the day, especially the early morning, since the outdoor lights are not on, you can't see anything. All right, we have a new cow and lots of chicken coops. Oh, you need your diaper changed. Don't go night night yet. All right, Isaiah, we've got a lot to do today. So we'll start over here, clean the sheds. And I think the cows are fine and Tina's fine. We have a new llama, a beige llama, Blondie. And we also have a few new chicks, Eggy, Fluff, and Crane, probably from last time. A Snuggles, okay. Midnight. Oh, so many chicks. I don't think we have any new chickens, but we do have a lot of new coops. Oh, and there's a couple in here too. We have a Fluff already. Okay, so this is a rooster. We'll call him Alarm Clock. And Cricket will be our hen. And Cuckoo. I think we had a Cuckoo, but Cuckoo might not be around anymore. That's okay. We'll name this one Fred. Okay, and I just moved all of the chicks over here to Chickrastic Park. Some of the names were auto-generated and some of them I came up with myself because they kept giving me the same name. So we have Chickrastic Park, Chicken City, Comfy Roost, the Koopalex, Coops Are Us, the Roost, the Chick Inn, the Scratching Chicken, Coop 24601, Coopersville, Egg Island, Hen House, Xavier School for the Chickens, Egg Shack, Eggland, and Egg Palace. And then our new sheds are Shedford on Bagley. Uh, actually, I think, yeah, that's a new one. Okay, Shedford on Bag Bagley and Shedorama. I couldn't figure out what to name that one. So we need to name the cow Belle. That's a pretty name for a cow. And then we have Blondie over here. So those are all our new animals. We needed to expand the chicken coop area because I kept getting so many hatchable eggs. I'm just going to make as many chickens as possible. So we're going to have a lot of chickens. And I needed to get a new cow because unfortunately, Clara is an elder. And we have the cow fair this weekend. And Isaiah still needs to win one more fair. So we'll have to make friends with Belle. And then we'll also need to fill up the rest of this crop area with new crops. And I put all of the out of season plants out here too. So... They're all in a fence, no more people stealing my crops, and this area is locked to household only. And I built a new work shed, and this is where we're going to put all of the miscellaneous things for people to do, like juice fizzing, pumpkin carving, flower making, or flower arranging, and then this is candle making. And that's just a wooden shed that they constructed basically to make all of the extra stuff from the farm. And then of course we have our guest house trailer over here and we have all of our play area, outdoor play area, and then the house right here. So this is how much of the farm we have used so far. Probably only about half slightly less than half. So we still have this huge area back here in order to expand on. 
And we'll do that as we get children because we need someone to help with this. This is already a lot. I mean, because the house is so small, the farmland is just enormous. All right, so Isaiah, after you get done with that, I wonder if, yeah, Tina could be cleaned and sheared. And then we'll clean Clara and milk Clara. And I think the feed levels are full, okay. And then we're going to have to start on this llama. Oh, okay, it doesn't need to be clean, that's good. All right, that's enough to keep you busy for now. Oh, and Latasha, I guess, went downstairs and got herself something to eat. Okay, that's fine. Both of the infants are sleeping right now, so Latasha can enjoy a meal and then maybe clean up a little bit around the house because it looks like someone spilled something on the floor. This is Maria and Quinn's last day here, so hopefully they'll put in some effort cleaning. Oh, Quinn is weeding my plants from all the way over here. Okay, I have no problem with that as long as you can't harvest them. Oh, Shaky, you got all dirty. Oh no, Pudley is sick. We'll have to give you a vet treat. Okay, I think Isaiah is done with these animals over here. So now we need to scatter some feed for all of these chickens. Yeah, why can't I scatter feed on a chicken coop that only has chicks in it? That's kind of weird. If it's empty, I can scatter feed. I've had this bug, I don't know why. Some of the chicken coops don't allow scattering feed. Oh well. Latasha, why are you mopping up puddles out here? I didn't think that you could do that unless you were erratic. No, no more mopping up puddles out here. Yes, Clara is getting on in years. I know that she's not going to be around very much longer. That's so sad, but we'll have to say goodbye to Clara. All right, so now the chickens are fed, but they don't like the rain. All right, we have to make the cow like us. Is this clean? Yes, it is. We need to clean the cow and socialize. Maybe we have a friendly treat. Oh, that's right. We have a golden treat. I need to figure out who to give the golden treat to. Maybe Frida. Okay, hopefully this does not glitch out because I only have one of these. Frida, please eat this. Don't glitch. And we have our first golden chicken. And basically golden chickens will go over to your plants and make them all perfect quality instantly. So it's kind of a hack. No, we need to get to know the cow. All right, what do you need? Nothing really. You're just fussing for no reason because you don't like to wake up. Okay. And you're happy. All right, we'll change your diaper because you actually need a diaper change. No more fussing. Every time I see Wade fart, I think he's using his diaper, but he's not. He's actually just farting. All right, Wade, why don't you go back to sleep? And we'll try and work with Cameron for a little while. I don't know if there's room to do anything, though. We might have to put him downstairs. Yeah, he's full. Why did you try to feed him? Well, he's not completely full, but still, he's mostly full. Let's go put him in the little activity center. Again, Shaky? You got sprayed by a skunk again. Okay, I'm not giving you a bath a second time. I just bathed you. Oh, there is enough room to do tummy time in here. Cecilia Kang, I heard my boss saying I would be a good candidate for a promotion. Do you think I can do it? Yes, you should, you should totally go for it. And Cameron can lift his head now. Or her. Cameron is a girl, right? Okay, why doesn't it say on the MC Command Center information thing? It doesn't say if it's a girl or a boy, but I... Sometimes these names are just a little bit too uh, non-gender specific. So I think Cameron is the girl. Yes, because Wade is the boy. Okay, so Cameron can be both a boy's name and a girl's name. So while she's young, I'm not going to be able to remember that she's a girl, even though I guess she's wearing pink. So maybe that'll be easier. Okay, let's try one more tummy time and see if we can get you to roll over. Probably not. All right, we should probably go back to planting. 
And the best part about not allowing people from outside the household in here is Patchy can't get out into my house. So all he can do is take care of the plants. Okay, now you can try feeding Cameron. All right, how many more do I need? Like 14? Okay, now do you want something to eat, Cameron? No, still no? Oh, you must be a picky eater or something. No, you don't have picky eater. You only have cautious. Well, I'm going to put you down to sleep then. You're going to be really hungry when you wake up. Okay, good. There's still a lot of food around, which means the chickens are not that hungry. Okay, let's put Wade down here and see if we can get Wade to lift his head. The only milestones they really need help with from the adults are the gross motor, which means they won't crawl unless you teach them, which is kind of weird because babies learn how to do that on their own. No, don't play peekaboo. I said tummy time. Yeah, and Cameron is hungry now. Well, at least she'll eat when she wakes up. Oh, I got another golden egg, even though it wasn't hatchable. Well, time to make another golden treat. We'll let Latasha do that. All right, Wade, you need to learn to lift your head first. I can't wait until my house guests are gone because they keep drinking these sodas and leaving them everywhere. Where are you getting those? I don't have any in the refrigerator. Okay, now he can lift his head. Oh, Shaky and Pudley are playing. How cute. Okay, Shaky needs another bath. Isaiah, what are you doing? Put him back down there. Put her back down there. Actually, him. Okay. No, don't talk to Quinn. You have work to do still. Okay, sometimes this is a little bit buggy. Yeah, she's going to go upstairs and put the kid in the crib and then go downstairs and hopefully still bathe shaky. Okay, then you need to go to sleep if you're tired. And you should probably go to sleep too. Okay, we did make another golden treat. So now we need to find a hen or maybe a rooster. No, I think I'd rather have a golden hen because they tend to lay the golden eggs. Do I have another hen that likes me? Henrietta. And Belle is Mac's relationship with me. Okay. So that's cool. Now I have noticed when the golden chickens, or actually when the chickens eat the golden treats and become golden chickens, that they're not the same chicken anymore. That makes me sad because I'm really good relationship with Henrietta. And as soon as she eats the treat, she'll be a golden chicken and it, just says golden hen and it actually has me rename her again yeah see it says golden hen and she's not even she doesn't even know me and she's a young adult so i guess that's a way to take an elder chicken and send it back to young adult and i'm just going to give her the same name because that's very sad that she's not the same chicken all right so bell went to sleep okay are any of the kids hungry no. Buttercrep has grown into a hen. Oh, we have our first evil chicken. Where is she? Of course, she's not out. There, see how much better it looks at night? It looks like all of the evil hens are growing up. All right, time to get the kids to bed and then go to bed ourselves. Okay, we are vacuuming through the wall. Okay, <laughs> at least it works. Most of the time, I don't even have enough room in my builds in order to vacuum. For some reason, they need a ton of room. Okay, and you're up. And you're also up. Cameron, you should go back to sleep. You're still tired. Okay, Isaiah is going to get up at 4 in the morning. Because for some reason, Sims just seem to sleep very quickly through the night. And then end up so tired. So I think maybe what we'll do is we'll help Latasha a little bit with the household chores because there's a lot to do. And we might vacuum some. Maybe we can get some tummy time with Wade before we can get started on our day. All right. And the first one that we should take care of is this one because we need you to be happy. And that was our bills. So we still owe, I think it's 300,000 simoleons, pretty sure. We'll pay another 50000 to bring it down to 250000 So we've halfway paid it off. Oh, he rolled over to his back. So he's set. After they learn that, they can sometimes learn to roll over onto their tummy by their own. He's sad because he's gassy, though. And he got the reach milestone. Belle is still only very happy. Why is that? Let's try and cheer her up. Already hungry. 
Okay, stop fussing. I'm coming to get you. Pudley, get out of the way. The house is really too small to have the dogs inside, but I don't want to shut them outside all the time. Maybe I should make a dog house. That actually might be a good idea because I have some extra space and we really don't have a lot more things that I want to add because I don't want so many crops. Pudley, no eating people food. Okay, there's no option to say don't eat food. It's only the lecture on about jumping on counters. All right, now let's put you back to sleep and then we'll deal with your sister. Wade is both gassy and happy spitter. That's a bad combination. Okay, now you're sad, so you need to go to sleep. Pudley, are you waking up, Wade? Okay, don't cry. Go to sleep. You're tired. Here's my evil chicken buttercup. So I now have evil chickens and golden chickens. Yes, Kim. I think you should go for it. She's just making friends. I don't know why she had to ask about that. Now, supposedly the evil chickens are supposed to chase away the Grim Reaper, but it doesn't work. I've seen it happen where, where they fight the Grim Reaper. And I think maybe it's just a chance at saving whoever the Grim Reaper is trying to get, but I don't think it's a guarantee. No, don't cry. All right, what needs to be done on the farm? No, don't put her back in the crib. Oh, she's been awake too much? I just got her out of her crib. All right, you're going to go back in the crib after we do tummy time once. Okay, you rolled over. Now we can put you to bed. And we still need to vacuum up here. Hmm, I think the vacuuming might wake up the kids, though. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Yeah. All right, my bad. Don't cry. I didn't think about that. Yes, loud noises. Although some kids actually go to sleep to the sound of a vacuum cleaner. So I don't know why they can't sleep through it. Just go back to sleep. Oh, Cecilia Kang got her promotion and she's a programmer at Computer Experts. Okay. All right, let's vacuum upstairs. All right, we have to train Shaky to go outside and go potty. Yay, he learned. All right, are any of these dirty? Ah, this one's dirty. This is going to be really annoying when I actually have all of these filled with chickens. But for right now, it's not too bad. Well, I'm not going to have to worry about watering any of the plants. It seems to rain every single day. And Patchy takes care of the weeds. And I've not seen any bugs yet. I think it's because I have these mosquito plants, which is kind of awesome. I need to plant some more things, though, for my aspiration. So what should we have more of? I think maybe I'll plant some sage in order to get some year-round plants that we can graft other things onto. Okay, you're still tired. Why don't you go back to sleep? And we'll change Wade's diaper and then see if we can get some more tummy time afterwards. All right, Buttercup, how can you be scared by the fox? You're an evil chicken. You're supposed to scare away the fox. I think we found a new puppy that we might adopt. Okay, but she's female and I can't call her Grant. I'm sorry, I don't know how she got that name. Um, let's try Valerie. Oh no, Isaiah is feeling sick. I think he's going to go to bed for a little while. Now we have a golden rooster. Oh, so you can use the golden roosters as a fair competition entry and probably win. That makes a lot of sense. So just having a very happy hen doesn't count really. Well, Pudley needs a bath again. Pudley, shaky, I can't keep giving you baths. I'm trying to teach the kids how to roll over, crawl, and do all the fun baby stuff. Oh well. And he learned how to laugh, which had nothing to do with the tummy time I just did. Okay, why don't you go to sleep now? You're probably tired. Uh, maybe you can play with the toys for a little bit. Oh yes, you're tired. Go to sleep. You're almost time to wake up. But first we gotta give shaky a bath. Okay, and Isaiah got over his cold by taking a nap. Shaky aged up and is now an elder. So now we have two elders and all of the chicks are growing up. I'm going to have a lot of hens and roosters now. Pudley, again, I just bathed you. Or was that Shaky? I don't remember. It's already 9.20 p.m. Time for tummy time. Oh, she learned something already? Laugh, okay. Are you looking at the shapes or something? Stop doing that. 
It's time to do tummy time. And she rolled over. Milestone achieved. Ah, being attacked by bees. Oh, no. Sometimes you can get poisoned from that, but Isaiah didn't get poisoned that time. Oh, no. Latasha needs to go outside. Well, she has conflicting traits now. I don't think that she should be both paranoid and outdoorsy. All right. We'll do some outdoor things really quick, and then we have to go to bed. It's 2 a.m., but neither one of them are really that tired because Isaiah had that nap. Why... Oh, diaper changer disaster. Okay. I thought for a minute that the diaper was still stinky. And I was like, I just changed you. Okay, let's go outside and do something. I don't think the garden needs tending though. What can we do? Maybe go fishing. Okay, she didn't go fishing. She went for the food instead. Fine. All right, let's go outside now and see if we can do something. Oh, we can encourage crop growth. That will count. Okay, that was enough. All right, it's 4 a.m. We got to go to sleep. We're going to be up really late tomorrow. No fussing and barking. All right, the barking wakes them up, even though he's been lectured not to wake Sims up. He has to be lectured not to bark because for some reason, the infants will wake up if he barks, which makes sense, but it's annoying that he has to learn two different things. All right, it's 5.40 a.m. and we are finally going to go to sleep. That is a lot of weeding to do. Oh well, Isaiah will get his weed or water plants 10 times goal done. Okay, now he needs to evolve five different plants. The only problem with that is my golden chickens are evolving everything. I don't think anything else needs to be evolved. Isaiah, you didn't finish. Now Cameron can creep. I wonder if he can practice crawling on the mat. Probably not. No, don't put him down. Change his diaper. Fine, put him in the crib first, but don't put him downstairs. You have to change his diaper upstairs. No, I'm not going to get gone. Change his diaper. What are you doing? Oh, Isaiah, no, you're not going to come put him down. Why do people always try to come put the infant down? All right, I have to feed the chicken sometime, although I do see a lot of food still scattered around. Maybe they don't need any more food? Why are you picking him back up? Don't pick him up. Uh, that made no sense. Why did you pick him up and put him down there? Now he's in your way. Oh, great. It's raining outside. Why is it raining? Oh, well. I think this is the only... No, don't go put her down there. I did not tell you to do that. Infants are so buggy. For whatever reason, the adult randomly thinks, I'm going to go put them down or give them to someone else. And there's just nothing you can do about it. Okay, now that I'm out here, let's see if there's enough room to practice sitting. I know it kind of sucks that we're out in the open like this and it's raining, but this is the only way we can do it. No, don't okay, put her down there. <laughs> there we go. Put her down there and then you can practice sitting. For some reason, there's just not enough room inside to do that. Why does Isaiah keep getting gurgles whenever he tries to eat something? I, that doesn't happen with Latasha. Is he eating something some, something in here that is spoiled? Oh, I got a hatchable golden egg and another golden egg that I could make a golden treat with. Do I want all golden eggs? Yeah, probably I do. Let's put the hatchable egg in here first. I have a regular hatchable and a golden egg hatchable. Once you have golden chickens, you can basically make all of your chickens golden chickens. Because even if you don't get hatchable eggs, you can make a treat to turn a regular chicken into a golden chicken. And we're just going to sell the obsidian eggs because the spicy treats make a regular chicken give an obsidian egg, but it doesn't turn that chicken into an evil chicken. And I have enough evil chickens right now. Oh, she can sit up now, which means she can do this cute little scoot that I've never seen a baby do. Apparently they do that. Or at least some of them do. Okay, I know. It's raining and you're sad because it's a strange place and loud noises. Okay, we'll take you back inside. Sorry. Yeah, you can go ahead and put her down there. I don't care. We're done with what we wanted to do. Okay, I think we actually have to cook something now. Okay, now Wade can creep. Let's see if we can take you outside and learn how to sit. Why can't you pick him up? Pick him up. Really? I haven't had an issue yet. Why is it an issue now? He's right there. Just pick him up. There you go. Okay, now we're going to try practice sitting out here. 
Hopefully it doesn't rain. Oh, for once Isaiah is tired. I don't think there's anything else that needs to be done. Yay, you can sit up now. Come on, I know you're going to do it. Sit up. There we go. All right, take him back inside now. Let's bring him back inside. Okay, now the exciting part comes with the infants is you can actually put them in the high chair and feed them some food. And maybe we should start with rice. And maybe I'll send Isaiah to bed because Isaiah is really tired. And Latasha is just not tired at all. Are you a messy eater? He doesn't know if he, or actually she doesn't know if she likes rice porridge or not. Yes, she's a picky eater. I figured let's try crushed carrots. This is a good way to get them full if you don't feel like breastfeeding. Unsure about crushed carrots. Is this the cautious one? Yes, of course it is. But at least she's eating it. Okay, then we're going to change your diaper because you just used it. And then put you to bed. Should probably actually give you a bath. How about a bubble bath? And this is actually pretty cute because they have a little baby bathtub that goes in the big bathtub. Just like you would for a real infant. Alright, and then we put you to bed. There's almost no time to do anything else other than care for these infants in the farm. So hopefully when we have teenagers, they will be able to help out a lot more. I mean, even children can do some of the gardening work. The only thing about the high chair food is that it doesn't really fill up their hunger very much. And I guess that's to show that the infant really depends on formula or breast milk until they are toddler, which is actually pretty realistic. So if you have an infant that has a yellow hunger bar, then usually high chair foods won't get them to fill up. Okay, you could use a bubble bath too. Look at the rubber ducky! Squeak, squeak. No, no, t no dipping your toes in the water. Go to sleep. I don't know why he wants to, to do that, but he keeps trying to dip his toes in the water. All right, and it's nearly 1 a.m. and Latasha is going to go to bed too. Wednesday is Winterfest, which is today. The infants age up tomorrow, which is Thursday. No, don't wake up that infant. No waking up the kids. No barking. Go to sleep. No. What are you doing? No, don't take him out. No, I did not tell you to take him out. We need, I couldn't lecture Shaky about barking, which is disappointing. I guess getting a late start to bedtime is a problem because we keep getting woken up by the dogs. Oh, Isaiah, you actually have your energy bar full. Guess you can work on some upgrades. Oh no, we're not vacuuming here. We'll vacuum upstairs first. Uh, maybe it doesn't need it. It's actually still shiny up here. Okay, so what can Latasha do? Maybe we'll make something. Hmm, I was thinking about having another baby, but it is a little early. Maybe we should do it anyway. Because the kids aren't up yet. I'm not sure. No, of course they can't do it. Okay. What about down here? No. Okay. I think she needs to get out of that nook in order to ask. Okay. Too late. The kids are up. No, you can go back to sleep. What's wrong with you? Why are you up? It's like they can't ask for some reason because they're... Okay, fine. Go here. We'll figure this out somehow. How about the tent? That might be easy enough. What? Why don't you like Isaiah? Why did you have a thought bubble that said no Isaiah? Okay, there's no sentiment other than deeply in love. Strange. And she's eating for two. No, don't go tell Isaiah. And then we have to feed the kids. Okay, Wade can babble now. Can you please change his diaper though? Change diaper, feed, and then we'll go downstairs. Oh no, spiders. What is she going to do? Oh, those are big old spiders. All right, let's put Cameron downstairs and then we'll come back for Wade. Okay, we'll change your diaper first and feed you. Okay, then put Wade down here and we have to mop on the first floor now. Hudley is running away, but I've been feeding you and playing with you. And you don't look like you're running away. You look like you're sitting right there. Oh, my cow plant must have grown. The aspiration is completed. There it is. The cow plant. Now we just have to make sure to feed it. Pudley is hungry. Pudley has food. What's wrong with you, Pudley? I think it's... Yeah, I think he's stuck. No wonder he's trying to run away because he's stuck. It's not because I'm not taking care of you. Okay, that should help his...
play and affection and everything except for bladder. We'll ask him to go potty and then he should be fine. Don't run away, Pudley. It's not my fault you got stuck on the couch. And he should know how to go potty himself. I don't know why he's not doing everything. We'll let Isaiah play with the kids for a little while. No, Patchy, you cannot come in. You need to stay with the plants and make sure everything here is taken care of. Although we do need to harvest. We'll have Latasha do that for once because that'll take care of her need to do something that's outside once in a while. And Isaiah can watch the kids for once. We'll also go ahead and pay another 50000 on our debt. I think that money tree is still overpowered because we have $200,000 worth of debt left and we still have a ton of money, really. Okay, Anaya has a crush on Max Bilreal. I don't think he's really your type, so I think you should think about it yourself. Sure, come on in, Dominic. We should open some presents, actually. Where are the presents? Oh, that's right. I think they're up here in the treehouse. The bonfire is probably not a good place to have the presents. It's kind of cute that if someone comes over, you can actually open presents with them. Or not. Okay, Latasha was first. She didn't like her gift. It must have been pranked. Yeah, sadness and lies. Oh, he liked his gift. What about Isaiah? A starter vegetable set. Okay. Like, we really need starter vegetables. Carrots and peas. Honestly, I'm not even using all the ways to make money with gardening and farming in The Sims. And I'm still having trouble with having too much money. So, okay, now Pudley is running away. Yeah, I'm sorry, Pudley. Are you getting stuck under that couch again? What is wrong with you? Okay, I'll reset you. Maybe I should get rid of the couch. I think it's because the dogs can't fit through here for some reason. I think the Sims can, so I don't know. Oh, no, they actually can't. I did not know that. Okay, so that's why the dogs keep crawling under the couch. All right, good to know. We may have to move these plain... I guess we only need one playmat now. So we'll just get rid of that one. Okay, now can you go sit on the couch? Oh, and you need a bath, Valerie. Oh, there's Father Winter. It's only 8 p.m. Why is he early? Oh, it is 8 p.m. I thought it was 9 for some reason. Why are you cleaning that? I told you to give her a bath. It's cold outside. Why are you wearing your summer clothes? Okay, that's his everyday. Still, you should wear your winter clothes. No, no, you are not picking him up. All right, I think I need an outdoor bathtub for the dogs. I had one, but I got rid of it. The only problem with having an outdoor bathtub specifically for the dogs is that the Sims will use it and they'll shoo everyone else away. Where should I put it? Maybe if I put it way over here, uh, if someone tries to use it, it won't be as obvious. No, no, don't take a bath. Give the dog a bath. Can we use that one then? All right. Isaiah, where are you going? That does not make any sense. What is wrong with the pathing? Don't tell me you're going to use the other side of the bathtub through the fence. Yeah, that's exactly what he's going to try and do. Okay. Note to self. Move the bathtub away from the fence. <laughs> that is so funny. Why are you doing it that way? If you can't get through the fence... Why can you use the bathtub on the other side of the fence? Okay, whatever. The only problem with the infant's fussing is that if I specify the parent go and do something for the infant that they want, it doesn't stop the kid from fussing. The parent should be able to pick up a fussing child. Okay, I think it's time to get ready for bed. It's almost waiting Cameron's birthday tomorrow. And neither one of them can crawl or stand. It is so hard to get them to get their milestones before their birthday, especially if you plan on doing anything else. Okay, Pudley didn't run away. He's right there. And it's snowing outside for the first time this year. So I'm going to make a cheesecake for the twins' birthday tomorrow. And then we will have two toddlers. What? Isaiah is feeling really sad right now and not his typical cheerful self. His life has taken 
a pretty gloomy turn, embrace the change, but he's happy. I don't get these personality traits changes. I mean, when they're an adult, they can earn personality traits, but it doesn't make any sense. I guess it doesn't matter about their overall emotion. It's just if you get a random sad moodlet or a random cheerful moodlet or a random scared moodlet, you might get a trait. Okay. Um, I guess this is okay though, because if he's gloomy, Latasha actually likes gloomy sims and not cheerful sims, so it might improve their compatibility, which is weird, but whatever. There's still only good compatibility. They used to be amazing, I think, and then they started earning extra traits and that kind of changed things. You're not holding the infant. Why does she have that in her queue? Did you not finish? I don't think she finished feeding the infant. I told you to feed her. Maybe it's because she's a picky eater. She didn't want to finish. Okay, Isaiah, you've got to take care of these animals. Oh no, Clara's time has come. Well, are my evil chickens going to come help? Probably not. Nope, I don't see them helping. Bye, Clara. I'm sorry. We'll miss you. You were the first cow. So sad. Oh, there comes the evil chicken. You're too late. You didn't come over in time. And now you're just fighting for no reason. Oh, that's hilarious. But it didn't help. You didn't save the cow. Okay. Are we done feeding this kid now? All right. She's fed. She's missing her furry friend. Isaiah, can you please post an alert about a missing pet? All right. So we can take this one downstairs. Let's change them into their winter clothes because it's just so cold. And then we'll come back for Wade. Sorry, Wade. Can you wait just a minute? I know you're hungry and you're sad. Mama will come back up and feed you. No, don't put her there. Don't put her. I said put her on the floor. Fine. Confine her to baby jail. Oh, in the end, Max Villarreal and I were not made for each other. Yeah, not really. Sorry to hear it. The Villreals are actually evil. So I don't think that she would have been a good match for them. Oh, can you scoot off the mat? Can you actually get out of there? Oh, you can. I could have sworn that they couldn't get out of that. I guess they can. No, don't put him down there. No. Well, I really didn't want to put him on the floor either, but no, let's go downstairs before we try to go night-night. Don't go night-night yet. You can sleep downstairs and nap downstairs. You don't have to sleep in your bed all the time. During the middle of the day, I want them downstairs. I don't want them upstairs all day long. Okay, now you can sleep in this thing. Okay, I think she wants something to eat, I guess. What are you going to do? Oh, you want something to eat. Okay. What are we trying? Oh, does she doesn't like rice porridge. Okay, you can stop feeding her that then. Let's give her some finger food, maybe yogurt melts, and then we'll grab something for ourselves. Why are you still awake? Don't cry. Let's go night night. No, don't check infant. No, no, don't check infant. <laughs> she wants to go to sleep. Or he. Oh, Isaiah, you're going to go put her to bed? She's not that tired. No, don't put her to bed. Bring her back down here. Why do we keep Bringing the kids upstairs. I know their cribs are up here, but they should only be up here at nighttime. They can nap downstairs. Infants are so buggy. I don't like the fact that I can't see if there's feed over here or not. So I'm just going to have to spread extra food. Between the dogs needing baths and the kids just needing everything. It is so hard to get anything done. I mean, no wonder Pudley ran away. I couldn't give him any attention because I was just doing everything else. We still haven't mi milked Belle. I don't know how you haven't milked Belle. Oh, you did probably. Maybe she has two harvests a day. It seems like she does. Ah, I unfortunately forgot we had a cow plant. Whoops. Um, we have a dead cow plant. I'm so sorry. No, don't put him down in the snow. Or her. Don't put her down in the snow. Put her down inside. She needs to take a little nap on the floor. I would have her take a nap in here, but it's already occupied. And I can't have two of those in here because unfortunately it blocks the way into the living room. No, Isaiah, you're not going to bed. Get back up. 
It's only 4 p.m. I know you're tired, but we have to do things on the farm. Valerie, did you get dirty again? I just gave you a bath, didn't I? Again, shaky? Uh, okay, I'm going to stop with planting these crops because it's winter time and I don't think I should be able to plant during winter. Now we got to give Shaky a bath. Let's see if he will take a bottle. You're hungry. And then maybe we can practice crawling if you can find the space, Isaiah. Oh, we have another hatchable obsidian egg. Oh, yeah. Sorry, chickies. I meant to move you out of there. Tina is now getting on in years. Great. We're going to lose the llama. Okay, we have two new chicks, a rooster chick and a hen chick. So we're going to name the rooster. I think we have a fluff, so I hate trying to think of names. If anybody has any names and would like to leave them in the comments, that would help. We're going to call the rooster George. And the hen, Eggy. Uh, I'm not sure if we have an Eggy. Probably not. We do have an Eggy. Okay, we can't name this one Eggy. We have to rename that one. See, I knew we I knew we had a fluff. We'll call this one Becky. So we have George and Becky. This one already has two roosters. Okay, I have to split up the roosters. So we don't want Fred an alarm clock here. So we'll assign Fred to the next one. Okay, I have to be a little bit more efficient about this because this is going to drive me nuts otherwise. So let's make sure all of these are populated over here. You get one rooster and three hens. Did Pudley return home? It didn't tell me that. He did return home. Okay, he's asleep, so I can't welcome him. <laughs> Why are you sitting right on top of me, Valerie? There is plenty of room over to the side. In hindsight, I guess it wasn't a good idea to ask the dog to go potty when the infant was right there. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, Pudley. Stay still. We gotta welcome you home, give you a big treat, and give you a bath. Let's set down the infant right next to the poop before we pick up the poop. Sure. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. I thought that the adult had to come and get them out of the little play mat before they could scoot. But I saw... Cameron just scoot right out of it earlier. I don't get it. Okay, haven't seen the notification yet that it, uh, okay, it's almost their birthday, but not quite their birthday. I think their birthday is around midnight, which means we probably did things a little bit too early and we need to have the birthday party tomorrow morning when everyone is rested. That makes a lot more sense anyway. So that's what we're going to do. No, Latasha, you're not going to bed yet. Pudley now needs a bath. You did not give Pudley a bath. Why did you put the baby down there? Oh, you can just age up the event without. Yeah, it says ch age up. Okay, I don't. I guess you don't need a birthday cake. That's news to me. Or maybe it will not work if you don't have a birthday cake. All right, Wade is a little bit hungry. Maybe we should try and feed him first. Definitely should change his diaper. No, you can't go to sleep. Okay, fine. You won't eat. That means you're going to bed a little bit hungry and you're going to be very hungry in the middle of the night. But you're very tired. So maybe you don't care. Yeah, it is their birthday now. We'll go to sleep first and then we'll have their birthday first thing in the morning. All right, Isaiah, you're going to come out and take care of all the animals because we've got to do that first. A clean and full? Okay. I think that the cows and the llamas are just not using their feed as much. Oh yeah, but we have to buy a new cow for this one. So sad. We'll get another spotted cow and name her Gertrude. Yeah, we haven't had a Gertrude. That is a common name for other cows. So I had to think about that for a sec. With the Sims lately, it's been kind of off and on as to whether or not you can queue up a whole bunch of actions and actually have them do what they're supposed to do. So we'll see if Latasha can handle all of this. Nope, she's doing the wrong thing. Don't set her down there. I wanted to put her downstairs, not here. Oh well, she's going to be stuck upstairs anyway. Why do these bees keep getting mites? I mean, they're not active. Seems like every day they have mites. Yeah, she got you. 
or he got you. Sure? Yeah, so you're going to take... Okay, no, he. you didn't take him downstairs. You just took him to the other side of the bed. Okay, let's take them downstairs, please. All right, let's see if this age up actually works. No, don't put him down. Why did you come in here to do that? You had a whole bunch of things I was asking you to do. Ah, and going all the way out here in the snow in his pajamas. Okay, I am going to be happy to be done with infants for at least a little while. Why did you put him out here in the snow in his pajamas? Look how unhappy he is. It's okay. Mama will come get you and age you up. Let's see if this age up works. Or is she going to need a cake? No, she doesn't need a cake. Okay, so Wade, I think, is going to be silly. And he's still out here in his pajamas. Okay, we need to do a makeover for Wade. Did he earn a bonus trait? Yeah, he's a top-notch infant. Okay, even though she's potty training him, I am not going to consider that strict when the adult asks the toddler to do something. Normally, I say yes to everything, but I've changed my mind for this series because the character profiles are already written out and how everyone is supposed to behave is already determined. So Latasha is going to be supportive for all of her children, except for maybe the one that's going to be the heir. And she'll probably be a little bit distant with that one. And then Isaiah is also going to be close and supportive to all of his kids. All right, go ahead, take a shower, Isaiah, then you can go age up the other one. I'm so glad I don't have to have a cake anymore for these. I thought the only way to age them up was with a cake, but nope, you can just age them up. Cameron also got top-notch infant and one point in the thinking skill. She is also going to be silly. So both of these are going to be creative toddlers. Okay, we still have some chicken piles over here, which means they are fed and they don't need anything else. And we put the outfit on Belle. I know I miss Clara, but Belle deserves some warmth because she needs to stay very happy. Okay, that was interesting. What did you do, Buttercup? He like set something on fire, but I don't know what it was. All right, we got to give Pudley a bath now. Okay, Valerie is having hearts, which means she wants to mate. So let's see if we can get puppies with Pudley before Pudley passes on. Oh, that's right. Pudley's getting a bath. Whoops. Now I have to give Shaky a bath. These dogs will not stay clean. Maybe it was an egg hatching? Yeah, there's a chick. Okay. Yeah, a chick hatched from a dark foreboding obsidian egg. I heard the sound, but it didn't give me the notification. Oh, there goes the Reaper. Yeah, I don't think that you can save the pets from dying, though. I think eventually the Reaper gets them anyway. Because it doesn't seem to do anything when the chicken attacks the Reaper. I mean, he, he gets knocked down. But it just delays the inevitable. Because there he goes. All the chicken does is keep the reaper from doing his job because the reaper has to actually resurrect you if you're still going to live. You can't just keep him from getting to the body. I'm trying to get rid of all the cockroaches. What? You were inside of your chicken coop. Why are you coming out to attack the reaper? Yep, that's what you're doing. You can't kill the reaper. And you can't resurrect the pet. Now that everyone can get upstairs by themselves and downstairs by themselves, it's so much easier. Just have to get the toddler's movement skill to level 2, and then they can climb the stairs without an adult carrying them. And it's New Year's Eve, but we have to go to the fair today. Oh no, Latasha's gone into labor. Alright, well, don't worry about getting something to eat. Whoops, I need to get the bassinets back. Okay, at least it's early morning now instead of middle of the night. Okay, and we have a boy. Going to have Pablo and Malia as a girl. So we had another set of twins. All right, we have to make sure Belle is very happy. So we'll clean her, we'll socialize with her, and feed her and milk her. We also need to clean the shed. Oh no, we're losing Pudley. That's sad. And I don't think we got puppies from Valerie. 
Oh, and there goes the evil chicken. Yeah, I don't think you can do anything. Grim is eventually going to win. He just gets delayed by the evil chickens. It's still kind of funny. What? Pudley? Did the chicken actually save him? Pudley is not dead. I thought that dog looked a lot like Pudley, but no, that is Pudley. Okay, I have never seen an evil chicken actually save a pet like that. Because you can't save them from the Reaper the normal way. Yep, yeah, Pudley has no grave. There's no grave over here. Well, that's so interesting. She's not moving. Why can't I put her in my inventory? There we go. All right, we are off to the fair with Belle. Come on, Belle, stop moving. All right, we're waiting for the Finchwick Fair to pop up. Should be right at 3.30 p.m. We submit our entry, and then we go sell all of our stuff. Very confident from submitting a competition entry. So we have a good chance at winning. Let's just make sure that she's clean and that she's happy. Okay, if we haggle with Agnes, I think she gives us a better deal on selling things. But not always. And now I go haggle with the other one. Because you can only sell 99 of a particular item at a time. So I have a lot of items that I had more than 99 of. Okay, let's see if there's any interesting items. I don't think they have anything else that I need. Oh, a cow plant berry. Interesting, but actually don't need it. I have one already. I had two. A golden egg. You gotta be kidding me. I don't actually need it now. I guess I'll wait until I figure out something that I actually do need. Um, why is Belle over here now? I thought I put her in this one. Well, I guess I put her in that one. Oh, actually, I want to go say hi to the mayor. Looks like a lot of other people are talking to the mayor, too. And we'll become best friends with them. Maybe that'll help. Okay, so the fair ends in an hour. I'm pretty sure we can win with Belle. We won with Clara, and she was basically the same status. Okay, it's 1030. It should be over now. Did I win or not? Okay, I think he did. Yeah, first place. That completes Isaiah's goals, except for expanding the farm. Now, we did have at least three kids, because we have four right now. But we need to expand the farm all the way back, and that is going to be a challenge. And that will finish both Isaiah's and Latasha's goals. I think we might still come to the fair every week, though. So with that fair prize, it's the end of another week. This is Charity. Thanks for watching.